for the last 71 years, we've watched some of the greatest moments in sports history. Celtics now lead 45, and West with a long jump, Russell deflected it and keeps it. Beautiful play. Feeds off quickly to Havlicek, who's been guarded by Krebs, who is holding back. Goes up, they jump long. Kuzi throws it high in the air, and the Boston Celtics are the world champion. Oscar Robertson throws to Kareem. Seven seconds. Kareem with a big shot. Kane setting something up with Larry Bird, who gets it low. What's a move on Byron Scott? What a move by Larry Bird. Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Here comes Chicago. 17 seconds. 17 seconds from game seven. Or from championship number six. Jordan. Chicago with the lead! It's Kobe again. But what if we went all the way back and redid it? Today is the year 1949. Welcome, guys, to the NBA 2K23 NBA History Resimulation Series. And uh, yeah, we're here. Uh, as you guys are watching this, today is June 1st. And it's a very, very special day for me because I get to watch my team in the NBA Finals. I get to watch the Denver Nuggets in the NBA Finals. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, never thought I would be able to say that sentence other than in 2K. Um, so. As you guys are watching this, I'm probably stressed out of my mind <laughs> and uh, very excited, but very nervous. Um, so it's been a hell of a ride and I can't believe that it's 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 here. So, um, yeah, I, I have no words, man. I, I, I don't. I really don't have any words. Um, the Denver Nuggets are in the NBA Finals. That is, that's crazy, crazy. Anyways, back to this series though. Like I said, um, that's kind of, uh, I'm starting this series on the day that the NBA Finals begins. Uh, it should be every other day. Um, unless I get ahead, then I might do every day, but I, oh, I'll probably just do every other day. Uh, and then we're gonna do three seasons per episode. Now this episode, I'm going to do pretty much raw. Uh, so we're just going to kind of go through. If you guys have seen this series before, you guys know how it's going to work. Um, but later on, I might shorten it by doing some just like a season reviews almost. I don't know. I, I want to make these videos shorter, but I don't know how I want to do it. Uh, I know some of you guys want to see more highlights, but I have a full time job, so it's really hard for me to to record these videos, take the time to, to, because it takes me a long time to record these videos. And I'll go over why, because I have to edit a lot of things and a lot of players and find a lot of players and the draft classes and all that. So it takes me a really long time to do those things on top of being, having to edit down into, you know, a 20 minute showing highlights and stuff. It's a lot. So if this was my full-time job, oh, I mean, I, I you know, it, I'd be, uh, you know, doing, you know, going all out, but unfortunately I don't have that time. Okay. So let's go over the roster. So there are eight teams in this league right now in the 1949, 1950 NBA season, 
We've got the Boston Celtics led by Ed McAuley, Andy Phillip, Howie Shannon. Uh, we have got the Tri-Cities Blackhawks, who will turn into the Milwaukee Hawks, I think, uh, here in a couple of seasons. We have the Rochester Royals, uh, the New York Knicks, the Minneapolis Lakers led by George Mikan, and we have the Detroit Pistons, uh, and also the oh uh this was not changed but this will be the uh philadelphia warriors um i don't know why the it says golden state but the logo is right so anyways the philadelphia warriors um and then the syracuse and nationals which ends up being the philadelphia 76ers so that's uh that's the amount of teams we've got 24 teams in the league now I'm I I made it 24 and I'm a little nervous just because the last time I put it at 24 this was a pass game I don't know if it was 21 or 22 but by the time I got to the final expansion team it wasn't working hopefully that's fixed uh this year but I I kind of I just kind of totally forgot about it so yeah as you guys can see I've already simulated half the season by the way um but I was testing out the scores which I think I figured out so if we go to setting now this hasn't worked in the past uh obviously 12 minute quarters best of three uh up until the nba finals which is a best of seven uh fatigue is off chemistry is off rule changes will be on for the off season injuries are off i thought about turning it on uh and just lowering the amount of injuries just because some careers end with injuries but maybe i'll do that in a in a later maybe let me know if you guys want to see that for 2024 right um uh, and then oh let me change this to just uh i'm just gonna i don't know i guess it doesn't really matter right um let's just do like all-star um and then we uh, i lowered the pace down to 20 fast break down to 40 possessions per game 35 35 shots um and you guys can kind of see the rest uh shot three adjust how frequently players attempt three point shots that did not work, actually. They were all shooting six to seven, eight threes a game. Uh, they were just missing all of them because the uh, three-point percentage is down to zero. But they were still making or taking threes. So I had to lower all the tendencies of every single player down to zero for three-point shots. Um, and yeah, so those are all of that and i think we're all good so let's get to the all-star game here and simulate through now i just want to make sure this works okay it does all right so i don't know if we're gonna do if uh you guys want to vote for all-star mvp you guys want to do that this year let me know in the comments below um but we might as well start this year so uh gallatin with 24 points five boards eight assists in the first ever all-star game for the east and they win it 128 to 124 uh, Groza with 24, Ed McLeod with 15, 6, and 6, 3 steals and 3 blocks. Uh, for the West, uh, Davies with 21 and 12, Martin with 23 and 4, Mikan with 17, 8, and 5, Nicholson with 14 and 4. So there's the All-Star game, so let me know in the comments below who you guys think it should win the All-Star MVP. The 1949-1950 NBA season is now over. Alex Groza for the Fort Wayne Pistons wins mvp averaging 34 27 and three assists per game two blocks per game um we'll go over kind of the rest of the players in a bit uh i if you over, go to override it shows their totals it doesn't show their averages so yeah it makes it kind of hard and then it orders it by minutes <laughs> so i don't know um it doesn't organize it by like who should get it it I don't what happened man i you know some sometimes with 2k some things work great and then the next year it's just gone i don't know maybe i'll just keep it as you know we won't vote for mvp this year i'll kind of just award it uh or else that might be kind of complicated i don't know let me know in the comments below what you guys think or if there's a way to fix this because yeah i don't really i don't know it just orders it by minutes for some stupid reason uh but groza wins mvp rookie of the year is harry gallatin uh, sixth man of the year is Red Roca. Uh, defensive player of the year is Al Servi. And um, yeah, so 
There you go. All NBA first team. We've got Ralph Beard, Alice Harvey, Harry Gallatin, Joe Folks, and Alex Rosa. I'm going to get rid of these uh, HOFs. I didn't really realize that. And then the team, I don't know what happened, but it says Piston, like Detroit, Golden State. I'll fix that too. I don't know why it's showing that. Again, first episode will always have some weird things we'll, we'll kind of have to get through. Uh, all NBA second team, Slater Martin, Andy Phillip, Dolph Shays, Fred uh, Shaz, and Ed McAuley. And then the All NBA third team, Carl Braun, uh, Bob Davies, Jack Coleman, Jack Nichols, and George Mikan was on the All NBA third team. Interesting. It does show he's 21 too, uh, which I don't think he's actually he was 21 at that time. So I'll also fix that. But there's little things. If you guys notice anything, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I will go ahead and fix it. All defensive first team: Al Servi, Andy Phillip, uh, a no name, Joe Folks, and another no name. I would override it, but it just organizes by minutes, so like it doesn't really help me. Uh, Ralph Beard uh, on the all defensive second team: uh, Fred Shaw's, Dolph Shays, and then um, there's the all rookie team that doesn't really matter. So. A little weird, but you know, <laughs> we'll get through it. Uh, Royals with the one seed in the West. Uh, the Lakers with the two seed. Three seed goes to the Warriors. Uh, and there's only three teams in the West. In the East, there's going to be five teams. Now, I'm probably going to change that after the first year. I forgot to do that uh, before I set it up. I don't know if you can even. So I will probably fix that if I can. Uh, oh, you know what? I may not be able to until we uh, add an expansion team. So I'll be kind of stuck like that, unfortunately. But we'll see. I'll, I'll see if I can fix it. But either way, Boston and uh, the Hawks will be fighting for uh, the... Basically, it's a play-in, essentially. So here we go. We'll go ahead and simulate uh, round one or round zero, basically. It will be the Royals again gets kind of a free pass here. Uh, it'll be the Lakers versus the Warriors, and then the Knicks versus Boston, and the Nationals versus the Fort Wayne Pistons. By the way, with the Fort Wayne Pistons, uh, I went and, and fixed the, uh, it says Fort Wayne now, but the logo will say Detroit because the logo for the Fort Wayne Pistons that I found isn't working. Like that just whole thing is not working. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. That's just uh, unfortunately how it goes sometimes so i mean i can load the logo in i guess but that's a, sometimes it's a pain in the ass because it doesn't work so anyways uh on to round two here we got the royals versus nobody the lakers versus the warriors uh the knicks versus the celtics and the nationals versus the pistons and the philadelphia warriors have been eliminated the pistons are gone and the boston celtics get eliminated so it's the royals versus the lakers and the New York Knicks versus the Syracuse Nationals. Remember, it's a three-game series. Game one goes to the New York Knicks over the Nationals, and the Lakers win game one over the Royals. Game number two, the Syracuse Nationals have been eliminated. The New York Knicks move on to the very first ever NBA Finals. The Royals tie up the series against the Lakers 1-1, and the Rochester Royals have been eliminated. The Minneapolis Lakers are going to the NBA Finals. The Western Conference... Oh, it didn't show me the Eastern Conference MVP. Weird. Uh, but George Mikan, 29-15 and 15 in the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, that did not exist back then. All right. Obviously, because that, you know, is new just two years ago. Anyways, the New York Knicks and the Minneapolis Lakers will play in the first ever NBA Finals. Seven game series. The Lakers have home court advantage. Can George Mikan lead his Lakers to uh, their first NBA Finals uh, win? I guess. We got a blowout here. 354 to go, up by 14. A minute to go, up by 14 still. And that will do it. Game one goes to Minneapolis, 124 to 111. George Mikan with 38 and 19. Martin with 23 and 13 to lead the Lakers to game one win. Game number two, the Knicks with an early lead going into the second. And the Lakers kind of, well, took the lead at one point. Now down by five. Going into the fourth quarter, it's 77-67. The New York Knicks lead it. And with two and a half minutes to go, it's 102-89. And the Lakers trying to make a push. 
but I don't think it's enough. No, it's not. The New York Knicks win game number two and tie up the series at one. They win it by four. Mike with 31 and 15 for the Knicks. Uh, Gallatin with 20, 22 and eight. Uh, Brown with or Braun with 26, 17 and seven. Simmons with 22, eight and two, and McGuire with 12, six and 15. Game number three in New York, and uh, they've stolen home court advantage into the second half. They lead it 61-55, and into the fourth, 98-83, and it's been all blowouts. And, well, I mean, the last game ended up being a four-point differential, but it wasn't really that close. As the Knicks win game three, 132-108. So far, basically all blowouts. Mike with 30-14. and 14. 23, 7, and 6 for Martin. Gallatin with 44, 22, and 11. Holy, who does he think he is? Nikola Jokic? Uh, Brown with 20, or Braun? Brown? Carl Braun. I'm going to say Braun, but look, I'm a Nuggets fan. I have Christian Brown stuck in my head. So every time I see that, I actually pronounce it Brown now. It's just, yeah. Anyways, uh, Simmons with 19, 9, and 3. And the Knicks take a 2-1 series lead. Into a game number four. Can the Lakers tie up this series? Into the second half, it's 57-54, and Knicks lead it. Into the fourth, 90-88. Very close game, higher scoring game. The Knicks still with the lead. Back and forth we go in the fourth quarter. Two minutes to go. Let's get down to about a minute. Oh my God, that went really fast. Uh, 36 seconds to go. We're tied at 104. Let's jump in. So uh, George Mikan is at the free throw line here, tied up at 104, and free throw number one is good. I don't think he shot free throws like that, but you know we'll just pretend he did. 105-104, uh, the Lakers lead it. Free throw number two is up and good, and George Mikan gives the uh, Minneapolis Lakers a two-point lead. 32 seconds to go, and it's stolen by the Lakers. Martin comes up with it. It was tipped away. They're trying to go to the post. And he had him open, but it was just a great defensive play. And now the Lakers will head to the free throw line. And Martin will be the free throw shooter. First one is up and good. It's a three-point lead for the Lakers. Not really sure why the Knicks fouled there. They, they had more time on the clock to where they could have let the Lakers take a shot. But... Uh, they instead foul, and it's going to be 108-104 Lakers. So the Knicks will have another chance here. And they'll go ahead and pass it in. Over to Gallatin. Gallatin gives it to McGuire. 20 seconds. They got to go into the post Gallatin. Gallatin has a mismatch, puts it up, and good. 108-106. 15 seconds to go. They're going to have to foul. They get over to Martin. And he will be fouled. Free throw number one is up and good. And the second one is also good. All right. 110, 106, 14 seconds to go. Because of the three-point shot not being there, it's going to be really hard for them to come back here. That's no good. George Mikan with the rebound. And that will do it. The Lakers will tie up this series at two and regain home court advantage. Game number three and the Lakers have an early lead into the second half here. Have a 15 point lead and into the fourth have a 17 point lead. Another blowout here. They cut it to within 10. Now within eight, actually. Uh, it's a 10-point game, 9-point game, and that will do it. The Lakers take a 3-2 lead over the New York Knicks, 110-299. Pollard with 37-3, Martin with 24-9-12, and 12. Mikan with 24-17, and 17. Gallatin with 28-16-6. Had 10 steals, was not enough as the Lakers take a 3-2 series lead. Game 6, back to New York we go. The Lakers with an early lead. And into the second half, they're up 60 to 44. Into the fourth, 77 to 50. And it's going to be another blowout and the biggest one of the series as the Minneapolis Lakers are NBA champions. And they are the first NBA champions. They win at 97 to 74. 
George Mikan with 33, 12, and 4. Pollard with 15, 9, and 3. Martin with 15 or 14, 5, and 14. Mickelson with 13 points, 16 rebounds, and 3 assists. And for the Knicks, 28, 11, and 4 for Brown or uh, Braun. Gallatin with 20, 15, and 4. Simmons with 6, 17 rebounds was not enough. And the Lakers are NBA champions for the first time in franchise history. George Mikan wins the first ever finals MVP, 32 points per game, 15 rebounds, three and a half assists, one steal and 2.3 blocks shooting 66% from the field. By the way, I'll show you guys the season stats uh, for the season. Groza led the league in uh, scoring. So he is a scoring champ, 34, 27 and three. Galton 30, 27 and six. The rebounds will be high because a lot of missed shots. Um, that should actually go down because a lot of teams were a lot of players were taking a lot of threes that first half of the season. So it should lower a little bit. Mike in with 27, 24. Uh, Ralph Beard with 25, 21 and eight. Uh, Davies with 25, five and 10. And uh, yeah, the rebounding will be high though uh, for the first few seasons. And obviously with them playing the no teams, right? The, the rebounds going to be high. Uh, assist leaders, Martin with 12 per game, Servi with 11 and a half, 11 for McGuire. Steals leaders was Al Servi, that's why he won Defensive Player of the Year. Block leader was, for real players, was Jack Nichols with 2.2. Um, so yeah, those are the regular season stats. Can I look at playoffs? Uh, I might not be able to now. Um, yeah, because I, I advanced. So there you go. Oh, NBA standings. Royals 77 and 5, Lakers 76 and 6, 63 and 19 for the Warriors. It doesn't really matter because you know we're there's a lot of no teams, but the Lakers or the Knicks with 73 and 9, Nationals 72 and 10, Pistons 68 and 14, Celtics 68 and 14, and the Black Blackhawks 58 and 24. Okay, so there are gonna be two rules approved uh to kind of just make things a little bit easier. There is no draft lottery, so team mods will be based on the standing rules, and then I'll go ahead and implement all that later on uh, once there's a full 24 teams um, in the league. And then we'll probably do a coin flip. I forget what year the coin flip was introduced, but I will go ahead and add that eventually. And uh, hand checking is now allowed, so that will also lower the scores um, of some of these games, and obviously that won't be changed until... Uh, the late 90s, early 2000s. So, um, yeah. So, those things are going to be allowed. And, um, yeah. I think uh, I think we're all good. Let's get to the 20... Or, the 20. The 1950 NBA Draft. So, the 1950 NBA Draft is here. And with the number one overall pick, the Tri-Cities Blackhawks select... Oh. It's not automated. All right gonna go ahead and sim that <laughs> i gotta i gotta make sure i f i figure out how to automate that i can't remember how to do it anyways the number one the number one overall pick bob Cousy goes to the tri-cities blackhawks um and then paul arizin goes number two to the philadelphia warriors the celtics get george yardley uh the pistons draft bill Sharman. Nationals select Chuck Share. The Knicks select Chuck Cooper. Goodness. Uh, the Lakers select Larry Faust. And the Rochester Royals select Earl Lloyd. And the Blackhawks got a second pick where they took George King. So uh, there you go. There is the 1950 NBA draft. Bob Cousy now in the league with the Tri-Cities Blackhawks. All right, here at the All-Star break here for the 1950-1951 season. And the East wins once again, 131 to 122. Gallatin with 28, 7 and 2 for the East. Charmin with 22 and 4. Chase with 15 and 9 and 5. Servi with 14 and 10 assists. For the West, George Mike in 24, 7 and 4. Paul Ayers in 23 and 6. Martin with 14, 4 and 7. So, Bob Cousy, by the way, as a rookie, 8, 5, and 11 in the All-Star game. Paul Arizona with 23 and 6 assists as a rookie. So, there you go. There's the All-Star game. Let's get to the end of the season. The 1950-1951 NBA season is over, and Alex Groza wins 
the regular season MVP, 39 points per game, 28 rebounds, 5.9 assists. So the points per game going way up, um, which is interesting. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Bob Cousy wins rookie of the year, 32 points a game, 30. I don't think the pace is working anymore. Um, so yeah, I might have to change the shot clock. I don't know. The, the settings for 2K just... Like the three point shooting doesn't actually work like when you put it to zero. So I don't I don't know. I don't know if those settings like actually do anything if I'm doing anything wrong, but Bob Cousy with 32, 32, and 12 uh is kind of insane. So he wins rookie of the year. Larry Faust with 13.8 points per game, 22 rebounds. He's the sixth man of the year. And uh uh the defensive player of the year. I don't know. I mean, do we just go Jack Nichols had 316 and 128. Yeah, I think we give it to Jack Nichols. So let's give it to him. 3.9 blocks per game, 23 rebounds per game. Uh, and the, yeah. So I don't know. It's a little, what's frustrating is I can't see the points or the, the per game stats. So like Ralph Beard averaged 25, 17, and 11. Um, Simmons averaged 22, 21, and 4. I guess none of these guys are... And we can go to points. Dolph Shays, 34, 31, and 3. Uh, Gallatin, 34, 26, and 8. Uh, Paul Arizon, 33, 29, and 8. Bob Cousy, 32, 32, and 12. Mike in 31, 20, and 4. It, the rebounds are... The rebounding is driving me nuts. I might uh, lower the shot clock. Or raise the shot clock up. Because the pace is not working. Um, I mean, I can try to get the pace even lower. But... I don't know. I don't know if that's if that's going to work. I, I, I'll try, I guess. All NBA first team is Bob Cousy, Slater, Martin, Paul Arizon, Harry Galton, and Alex Groza. All NBA second team, Ralph Beard, Alice Servi, Dolph Shays, Fred Shaws, and Ed McLeay. All NBA third team, Bill Sharman, Bob Davies, Jack Nichols, um, and George Mikan. All defense first team, Cousy, uh, Nichols, Shaws. Uh, all defensive second team, Sharman, Shays, Paul Arizon, and Ed McLeay. On to the NBA playoffs, and the Tri-Cities Blackhawks and Bob Cousy do not make the NBA playoffs. The Royals are once again the one seed. The Knicks are the one seed as well. Let's look at player stats here real quick. Rosa led the league with 39.5 points per game, 28 rebounds, 6 assists per game. I mean, that's MVP level. 2.8 blocks per game, 1.5 one steals per game. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty fair um Shays averaged 34 31 and 3 Gallatin 34 26 and 8 Paul Arizon 33 29 and 8 Bob Cousy 32 32 and 12 yeah I mean these scoring this scoring is just way too high we're gonna have to raise the shot clock unfortunately the pace just that the the settings where you can edit pace and three point it doesn't work like I I lowered all the three-point shooting and they were still taking seven or ten threes a game so then I had to lower all of their uh tendency so yeah it just unfortunately it just doesn't work so we're gonna have to do shot clock again um Paul Arizon led the league in steals and Nichols led the league in blocks the Philadelphia Warriors get eliminated from uh the playoffs and nationals as well the Celtics as well so it's the Royals versus the Lakers and the Pistons versus the uh, New York Knicks so the Pistons making it uh which i believe let's see the detroit pistons with um with uh groza who's who won mvp Jarman, shaz so yeah they get to the eastern conference finals um and then the lakers and the royals once again will have a rematch so game number one and the knicks and lakers both win game one same thing as last year uh game number two the fort wayne pistons have been eliminated. The New York Knicks are on to the NBA Finals for a second straight year. And the Rochester Royals are eliminated. And we got a rematch. All right. The Royals generally in the previous series of this series. Previous years of this series. Uh, the Royals actually dominated. So it's kind of interesting seeing now the Lakers beating the Royals. Uh, Slater Martin wins Western Conference Finals MVP. Um... Oh, I, I could hit the trigger to see Eastern Conference MVP. Didn't see that. All right. 
Nick doesn't matter. Knicks, Lakers in the NBA Finals once again. And game one in New York. So New York has home court advantage this time around. Into the fourth quarter, it's a close game. 73-72, Knicks lead it. And now at 347, the Knicks with an eight-point lead. Minute 23, a nine-point lead, and that will do it. The New York Knicks take game number one. Simmons with 25 and 9, Gallatin with 24 and 14, Martin with 26, 6 and 11, Mike with 22, 15 and 4 in the loss. Game number two, once again in New York, and they have an early lead into the second half, and they led it 54 to 46 at the half. Now 54 50 into the fourth quarter, and the Lakers have taken a lead 83 74, a huge third quarter, 37 to 20 third quarter into the fourth 107 92 the lakers lead it and they will win it 113 to 99 gallatin with 31 and 15 and 5 in the loss george mikan with 34 10 and 4 in the win martin with 24 6 and 13 five steals for the lakers and the minneapolis lakers steal home court advantage on to game number three in minneapolis and the lakers have an early lead back and forth we go in the second quarter in the third the new york knicks have taken a lead a huge third quarter once again in game number three 40 to 27 though this time the knicks winning that third quarter into the fourth 340 to go the knicks with the seven point lead now a nine point lead eight point lead and yeah that's about over the new york knicks regain home court advantage they win at 127 to 120. Gallatin with 34, 12, and 7. Brown with or Braun with 26, 4, and 11. Mikan with 25, 12, and 3. Martin's having a hell of a series. 25, 20 points, 5 boards, and 15 assists. Game number, oops, game number four. The Lakers once again at home. The Knicks with an early lead and the lakers now a 6-0 run to start the third quarter take a three-point lead into the fourth quarter the lakers with the one-point game later in the fourth here 81 at 77 the lakers lead it a minute 54 to go up by seven are the lakers and with 18 seconds to go it's 95 to 90 nine seconds to go yeah 97 90 that will do it the lakers win it 97 to 90 uh braun with 29 and 8 for the knicks Martin with 27, 9, and 8. Mickelson with 19, 12, and 3. And George Michael with 19 and 13. The rookie Larry Faust, by the way, averaging 10 and 15 for the Lakers as a rookie. So game number five. This will be in New York. A huge game here. Whoever wins this will more than likely win the series. Into the third quarter. The Lakers with a 10-point lead. And now entering the fourth, still with the big lead. 229 to go 103 87 108 93 and that will do it the minneapolis lakers take a 3-2 series lead headed back home for game number six george mike with 30.16 rebounds three assists martin with 23 and 15 uh for the playoffs averaging 26 7 and 15 george mike averaging 33 15 and three so now on to a game number six in minnesota the late or the Knicks with an early lead though into the second half 53 47 the Knicks lead it into the fourth quarter it's 84 76 the Lakers with a lead now down to 656 a Laker four point lead 122 98 93 the Lakers lead let's jump in and uh and see the end of this one which could be back-to-back -back championships for the Minneapolis Lakers so here we go the Lakers with the five-point lead 98 to 93 George Mikan in the post oh what a pass by Mikan to Larry Faust Woo! what a pass all right got some we got some Nikola Jokic there holy moly what a pass from George Mikan I know Jokic doesn't exist we'll ignore that hey they're in the NBA finals I don't care all right, that was with the rebound. The Knicks miss it. It's a seven-point lead for the Minneapolis Lakers. Over to Faust and the post to George. George gets doubled. Oh, you had a cutter. There he goes. Mickelson puts it up and in. It's a 102-93 lead with 44 seconds to go. 
Maguire with the ball for New York. Got to go here. 35 seconds to go in this game. Go drive right and gets the lip, and that's good. 102 to 95. The Lakers lead it. Lakers will about it. 28 seconds to go. Martin will have it. Trying to run down the time. George Mikan gets doubled once again. Spins left. And George Mikan dunks it. 17 to seconds to go. And George Mikan has completely taken over this game. Braun with the missed shot there. Mikan with the rebound over to Martin. And Slater Martin will dribble it out. The Minneapolis Lakers are NBA champions for the second straight year. They win it 104 to 95. NBA champions once again. And George Mikan was unbelievable in that last minute. Two beautiful assists. One that was incredible. And then the tough bucket at the end. And the Lakers are NBA champions. George Mike and celebrating. <laughs> All right. And we'll see who wins finals MVP. Oh, we'll watch the trophy celebration here. But what a win for the Lakers. They defeat the New York Knicks in six. Once again, game five was huge. Winning game five gave them back home court advantage and an opportunity to win it here in game number six. And the Larry O'Brien Trophy will head to the Lakers. And then the finals MVP. I'm assuming it's going to go to George Mikan, and it is. George Mikan wins finals MVP for the second straight year. Wow. So the Lakers are back-to-back -back champions. George Mikan averaged 25.8 points per game, 13 rebounds, 3 assists, 4 blocks in the finals win as they win it 4-2. Uh, I'm not going to actually move the shot clock because the pace in the game was actually really good in the playoffs. It's just the no teams, man. So we're just going to have to kind of wait it out uh, until we get, start getting some teams in here. Um, which is kind of unfortunate that we're going to have to wait that long. But yeah, I don't know. I don't want to screw the playoffs up, right? So uh, I, I think that's more important, right? The playoffs. So uh, I'll keep it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to mess with it. But um it's just hard when we have a bunch of no teams, so I don't really know what to do with that. For the 1951 NBA draft, there's only actually one player, and it's Mel Hutchins. So Mel Hutchins goes to the Blackhawks uh, to join Bob Cousy. So a pretty nice duo there. We'll see how that goes, and uh, yeah, on to the next season. The 1951-52 NBA All-Star Game now, 149-126 to Eastern Conference wins once again. Bob Cousy with 22, 11, and 5 steals. Dolph Shays with 26. Charmin with 16. Groza with 16. For the West, George Mikan with 25, 6, and 3. Davies with 21, and 8. Paul Arizon with 20. And uh, yeah, there's your All-Star Game. Let me know in the comments below who are your guys' All-Star MVP for all three years, let me know in the comments below and the regular season MVP. We'll, we'll do that. So yeah, let me know in the comments below who you guys are voting for for the two MVPs. So 2K voted for Bob Cousy to win MVP. We'll we'll look at the, the player stats uh, in a bit, but Bob Cousy possible MVP. Uh, like I said, the, the scoring and the rebounding is going to be just off the charts because of the no teams. So it's going to be really hard to gauge. Um... So yeah, I'm not really sure what to do to fix that, but the playoffs are perfect, so I don't I don't want to mess with it. Uh, Mel Hutchins wins Rookie of the Year, 11, 14, and two. Larry Fowles wins Sixth Man of the Year, averaging 15, 19, um, and then Joe Folks wins Defensive Player of the Year, averaging 2.8 blocks and 1.7 
steals per game. All NBA first team, Bob Cousy, Bill Sharman, Paul Arizon, Harry Gallatin, and George Mikan. All NBA second team, Slater, Martin, Al Servi, Joe Folks, uh, George Yardley, Ed McAuley. And all NBA third team, Carl Braun, George King, Fred Shaw, Dolph Shays, and Alex Groza. All defensive first team, Bob Cousy, Bill Sharman, Joe Folks, Paul Arizon, and Ed McAuley. And all defensive second team, Al Servi, Andy, Philip, Fred Shaw's, Harry Gelton, and uh, uh, no, no guys. So uh, here we go on to the NBA playoffs. We'll look at the the seedings before we get to the stat leaders. Boston misses the playoffs. The Royals with the one seed in the West. Uh, the Lakers once again with the two seed. Warriors with the three seed. And in the East, New York once again with the one seed. Uh, the Fort Wayne Pistons with the four seed, the Blackhawks with the two seed, and the Nationals with the three seed. So maybe that Bob Cousy MVP is worth it. I mean, he got his team from last place, you know, the worst team in the league, to the second best team in the East. Pretty impressive. League leaders here in the regular season. Bob Cousy led the league in scoring as well by seven points. All right. He's MVP. 13 assists per game as well. George King had a really good year, um, averaging 35, 5, and 7. George Mike in 33, 19, and 5.8 assists. Uh, Bill Sharman with 39, 32, or 39 minutes per game. Was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, 32 points per game, 23 rebounds, and 5.9 assists. Paul Arizon with 32, 29, and 7. Uh, Carl Braun with 40 po or 32 points per Per game, yeah, look at their, their minutes are all sky high. Like, it's just, I don't know. We just got to wait a few years, I guess, because um, I don't want to break the playoffs. Um, that's probably the most important thing. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below who wins regular season MVP. I think my vote is, is Bob Cousy. So, round one here, the Philadelphia Warriors get eliminated. So do uh, the Tri-City Blackhawks. So, uh, Bob Cousy gets eliminated in round one after we're possibly winning MVP. The Fort Wayne Pistons uh, are eliminated as well. And we got the Royals versus Lakers and the Knicks versus the Syracuse Nationals, uh, which I believe was the same four teams two years ago, the very first year of the league. Game number one goes to the Royals. So first time the Royals win game one there. The Nationals also win game one. Game number two, the Minneapolis Lakers are eliminated. So no three-peat for the Lakers. The Royals move on. The Knicks win game two to tie up that series. And the Nationals have been eliminated. The New York Knicks are on to the NBA Finals for a third straight year. Bob Davies for the Royals. 30 points per game. Six rebounds. 11 and a half assists. Uh, wins Western Conference, uh, Western Conference Finals MVP. And Carl Braun wins Eastern Conference Finals MVP. 25-7-14. and 14. I'm curious if we go to award history... Oh, it doesn't show it. Or maybe he didn't win it. Huh. I don't know. I'm curious if, if that stuff shows. But anyways, the Royals and Knicks are on to the NBA Finals. Can the Knicks get over the hump? Or will the Royals win their first title in one try? Here we go. Game number one. The Royals have home court advantage. And it's a 12-point lead in the first. They win the second. The Knicks... Make it a bit closer, but they're still down by 23, and that will do it. The Rochester Royals smoke the New York Knicks in game number one. Davies with 38 and 7. Uh, Gallatin with 34, 8 and 3. And uh, the Royals take game one. Game number two. Royals once again at home. They take a, another 15 point lead into the second half, into the fourth quarter, and it's an 11 point lead. Three minutes to go. It's an 18-point lead, and that will do it. The Royals take a commanding 2-0 lead. They win this one 134-110. to 110. Uh, Wanzer, Wanzer, 27-3-8. Bobby Wanzer. Coleman, 26-7-3. Bob Davies, 24-6-16. and 16. Uh, Braun with 34-4-11. and 11. He's having a great series, but it's not enough as the Royals take a 2-0 lead. Game number three in New York. And the Knicks... Had a lead. They lose it going into the, the half. Into the uh, fourth quarter. It's 100-82. to 82. The Royals once again just putting it on the New York Knicks. And they win it 134-114. to 114. Bob Davies 29-13. Wins it with 21-6-8. And, 
and uh Gallatin with 34, 9 and 4, 9 enough as the Royals take a 3-0 series lead. Will there be a 3-0 comeback? Not looking like it, but we'll see. The Knicks at home for game four. Let's see if they can avoid the sweep. The Royals take a Lead, though, a 5-0 run to start the third quarter gives them the lead. The Knicks take it right back into the fourth quarter, 95-88. The Knicks lead it with two with one minute and 22. The Knicks lead 119 to 114, 121 to 14. And can, oh, the Royals make it a two-point game. Hmm, 122 to 119, 123 to 121, 125 to, yeah, it's just not enough. There's no three-point shot, so... The Knicks win it 125 to 123. They avoid a sweep. Braun with 46 and 11. He's having a hell of a series, but it's just, it's only resulted in one win. 3 1 deficit for the Knicks now. The Royals at home. They win the first, they lose the second. It's a close one 67 to 60 into the fourth. 85 75. The Royals lead it. 423 to go. 10 point lead for the Royals. 233 to go. It's only a six point game. Down to a minute 27, 104 to 100. Let's jump in. Can the Royals win their first ever NBA title? 104 100. The Royals with possession here. Wins are into the post. Coleman and Coleman dunks it. Woo! What a, what a play. And the Royals take a 106 to 100 lead. Goodness gracious, as you can see though on the logo, it says 1951 champion. So just a year late. I mean, well, are they saying 1951 to 1952 or are they saying 50 to 51? Let me know in the comments below. What year did they actually win it? Uh, I'm not going to go back and look, but uh, we're in the 1951, 1952 NBA season. The Royals lead at 106 to 100. Pass into Simmons. He dunks it 106 to 102. A minute to go. The Knicks need to get a stop here. If they don't get a stop, this thing might be over. And oh, what a play. Layup is good. 108 to 102. The Royals lead it. Bob Davies, what a move. Gets the layup. And now, 55 seconds to go. Knicks down by six. McGuire with the ball. A lot of dribbling here. Five seconds on the shot clock. McGuire swings it to Braun. Braun two on the clock. Puts it up. No, no good. And Bob Davies with the rebound. Kicks it over to Lloyd. Lloyd will get fouled with 34.2 seconds to go. And the uh, Rochester Royals are just 34 seconds away from winning their first NBA championship. Free throw number two is up and good. It's an eight point lead. And Braun will dribble it up. Drives right. Spin. Puts it up. Good. Braun makes it a six-point game. But will it be enough? I don't think it is. I don't think they have enough time to come back here. McGuire will foul. And the free throw is up and good. It's again a seven-point lead. And Wanzer... Puts it up again. It's an eight point lead and that will probably do it. Five seconds to go. And the Rochester Royals are NBA champions for the first time in franchise history. They win the third ever NBA title. The New York Knicks have now lost three straight NBA championships. What a season for the Rochester Royals. They finally broke through and beat the Minneapolis Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. And Bob Davies gets his first championship. Winning Western Conference Finals MVP. And now beating the Knicks in five. Will he win Finals MVP? We'll see. Windsor as well winning his first title. What a camera angle. Absolutely terrific. <laughs> what a win for the Royals, though. So now the first three championships, all from the West. The Lakers winning the first two. And now the Rochester Royals winning their first NBA title. 
It's kind of funny how that works, right? The East, uh, the All-Star game, the East wins the first three years, but the NBA championship goes to the West all three years. And the Rochester Royals, sponsored by AT&T, wins the 1951, 1952 NBA title. And the finals MVP will go to, I believe that's Bob Davies. And there he is, a finals MVP. Bob Davies with 23 points, 6 rebounds, 13 assists in the closeout game. Bobby Wanzer with 22, 5, and 8. Coleman with 21, 9, and 3. Uh, Earl Lloyd with 17 and 5. For the Knicks, 26 for Braun, 9 assists. Harry Gallatin, 21, 10, and 6. Chuck Cooper, 19, 6, and 3. And Connie Simmons, 17, 9, and 6. Were not enough as the Royals are now NBA champions for the first time. And the finals MVP going to Bob Davies. 26 points per game, 12 assists per game in the NBA Finals. And at just 26 years old, he is a Finals MVP. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's the first three years of our NBA history. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, vote down below in the comments who are your all-star MVPs and who are your regular season MVPs. Also, let me know uh, what I should do with the regular season stats. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I can do. I mean, I guess I could raise the talent of the no teams. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what I should do with the regular season. Just leave it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Go Nuggets. Let's, uh, let's win game one. I have no idea who they're playing right now, by the way. You guys will know when when you guys watch this video. I have no idea. Game seven is tonight. And uh, I think it's going to be Boston. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm very excited. Very nervous. But uh, go Nuggets. I will see you guys in the next video in 1952.